put it in the hood with it. Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know we get it in. But before we get it in, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding! Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I'm kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support I'm getting, man. We're going up on this channel. We're going way up, right? And it's all because of you. And for that, I'm very humbled, first and foremost. And thank you guys very much. Gracias. Now, trip out on this. Yesterday, I dropped a spill. Hey, most anticipated. Everybody was asking. You know, I mentioned my primo a few spills back, and everybody was like, hey, you should do a spill on him. Do you have any stories? Do I? Come on now, man. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Super Norteño, man. You know, hey, like an E-40 song, he's all over the place with his shit. So I definitely have a lot of stories. And then this one I wanted to tell, hey, not the Empire Strikes Back. But the Super Norteño strikes back, or at least he tried, right? Until I knocked his ass out. But trip out on this, right? This story is about me getting out of prison, non-active, and the interactions I had with the Super Norteño. Gustine's finest, right? We're talking about my primo calling me up. Hey, hey, Prince. Hey, trip out. Hey, hey, I got something to tell you, man. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah, hey, hey. When you get here, Holmes, don't mind, don't mind, uh, you know, the, what it smells like. You know, I was doing something funny. You know, I was doing something funny for a little bit of money. So just get over here, right? So, of course, I pull up to his pad as usual, right? My tia's on the couch watching novelas. Esmeralda. And it smells right when I walk in the house like wet fart. And, and, and a musk that I just can't describe. It smells like wet, like a wet, soggy bag of Lay's potato chips. It's just, it's got that tart, salty smell. Yet at the same time, the oils are, you know, just, just coming out into the mist. So I walk in, I'm like, damn, bro, what's that smell? And his fat chick is sitting there and she farts. <laughs> he said, that, that's the smell right there, bro. I think she had chorro. Last night we had carne asada and, and I don't even think, I think it was, I think, I don't, I don't know if it was ranchera or what. I, stop it. Okay, stop it. No, no explanation needed. This fucking fat chick just farted in your bed, homie. Kick her out or I'm gone, right? Well, drop, drop out then, drop out then, right? Like, so look. Those are the type of interactions we had. Hey, give me a ride over here, bro. I got to go do make, I got to bust a couple knocks, a couple moves, right? We're right now. Let me explain what Gustine is. So you guys know where he lives. There ain't shit out there. Hello, hello, hello. There's about four Southsiders and him, cows, cow pies, as the crow. It looks like, a, a, you know, an episode of fucking, uh, what's that shit called? The Sons of Anarchy when they're riding around the mountain. There's nothing there. It's just... Him, along with his thoughts, and his GUN poster, right? And his quacked ass tattoos on his chest and his face. So, we're riding, of course, on the north side. This is where we ride. Red rag till we die, right? That was like, it's just a daily trip to the north side. I said, this ain't the fucking north side. Eh? Fucking, there ain't nothing out here but vultures and dead coyotes. He said, yeah, bro, this is mine. This is my land. You know what I'm saying? I planted my flag. Uh, Yeah. I guess, right? That's what you want. But he's a he's a solid homie. He's just got a little bit of a different mentality. Okay? So I go to prison and I leave him in bed with his fat bitch um, to which there are no return, right? And while incarcerated, man, I go through my issues, my motions, man. I do a little red on red. I get out to the yard. It's just, it's, it's funky. It's real spunky. It's different, right? And that's where my story ended. That's where my career is gone. Now, up until that point, I was with all his shenanigans. When he'd call me, hey, fool, let's go kill somebody or something, right? You know what I'm saying? We'll, hey, we'll go to Sizzler. We'll eat the all you eat buff buffet. We'll go hunting a little bit. Hopefully, we can snatch a fucking spaghetti by his bald head and just run, right? And then, guess what, homes? We'll stop at Foster Freeze and get us one of those big old bags of fries they got, right? Damn, this is about to like to eat and kill. And that's what he done, right? Um, and I was with all the shenanigans and all the bullshit because I was active. It was expected of me. I expected it of myself. Hey, I was one of those guys that was constantly trying to earn stripes. And believe me, he's the stripe bearer. That vato is always about a stripe, right? So I go through my motions. Like I said, he's at home smelling a wet, soggy bag of potato chips. And I come, uh, I come out and I already know that it's going to be a conversation that needs to be had. And I'm either thinking two things will happen. Either he's going to be all high powered with his peacock chest all out. Hey, homie, it's forever four. You let me down. All that shit you told me wasn't even true. Eh? I can't believe a shit fucking word you say, right? Or it's going to be like all disappointment. He's going to be shedding tears. You see those, eh? If you look close to red, that's it, right? He's going to be all, but oh, and I'm, and I'm, I'm lying. 
He don't say the word S. You can't say the word S around him. I tried before. That ball, hey, the motherfucker record scratch. He's in that motherfucker like, hey, XIV to return the T. Generations of the What'd you say? Right? I was like, stop it, bro. He was like, nah, bro. You better take, take your ass back to LA when you were in YA. See how that shit works out for you. Yeah, all them stories you told me about the vault was fucking beating you up behind the handball court. Shit. If I was back there, if you was back there, you would have got scraped indubitably. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Too many Southsiders are too many Southsider problems. Um, but anyways, so there were certain words you could and could not say around this guy. And God forbid you watch American Me at his house. It's forbidden. You can't watch American Me. You know what I'm saying? And when they say they're just a bunch of lame farmers from the north. What the fuck you mean? That's it. Or ain't it? Too much fuck you mean a lame farmer from the north. So scared they ain't shit. Look. He opened his doors and you can see a, a vulture. Ah, ah, ah. We are, we are farmers though from up north though. Let's keep it real. Right? And so that would be that. Um, there was just certain things you could do and couldn't do around him. Like I said, he was super high sock, super Northanger to the fullest. Hey, every pair of socks he had was all the way up past the kneecaps. They looked like the fucking shit that fucking, uh, the stockings that De La Hoya was wearing with the Russian chick. Hey, but he always had those red stripes. Remember the old school ones that come in the packs? Green stripes, blue stripes, red stripes. Oh, he'll throw all the blue ones away. That shit out of here. Mom! Where'd you get these socks at, mijo? I got them at Walmart. I don't like these. I like the red ones from Costco, the gold toes. Well, speaking of gold toes, but I also turn that music down. And also... Hey, when you got fucking Costco money, holla at me. My tia's ghetto, but paisa at the same time. You ever seen one of those? Uh, hey, she tries to act all ghetto because she grew up in Oakland and shit. So she tries to act all ghetto, but gets her words all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and sometimes my cousin be bumping his music. I mean, he's always on his northern music. He doesn't bump Jodeci. He don't bump Usher. He definitely don't bump Diddy. Or maybe he does. One never knows does one, right? He did some time and we're real skeptical still. That's another story for another spill. But, um... At this point, I don't want, he's going to call me after this, like, what the fuck you mean? No, I ain't Diddy. So I said, these aren't my confessions, right? Okay, calm down. Calm down. Just let it burn. Because <laughs> that's what we heard. So anyways, my tia is the type that she, hey, one time I came out and he's bumping his music and she's bobbing her head. You know, she's bumping, she's like, hey, mijo, who's that? Is that go? Goto's is so fine, right? It's <laughs> a fucking, hey, calm down, tia. He can, you're old enough to be his mom. He's like, my pussy ain't, right? She's just different. She's no filter. His mom is the, the exact version of him, only in a fat movie type of way. And Thea, I love you, but I calls it as I sees it. It's like walking into her house is like a mix between the Chocantiflas and the Sopranos. You don't know if you're going to get whacked or fucking made fun of. It's, there's like just some crazy shit going on in that pad. But I love it. She cooks good as fuck. I mean, if you've seen my Thea, you know what I'm saying? She's paying like she's weighing. You would, there's, it's always an aroma, like I said, of either fucking um, after sex with him and fucking and, and Mugre the fat chick, or his mom cooking some bomb ass carnitas. Either way, you're winning. There's always a paisa there named Juan, Guardo, Omar, fucking Lupe. There's always a paisa there coming out. Hey, 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 hey. mijo. Que quieres? Uh, not you, baboso. Right? I'm just here to see my tia. Yeah, it's, it's me, esposa. Yeah, yeah. She was your, she was Juan's wife last week. And the week before that, when she was going to the Bullfrog in Livingston, she was with a fucking bato named Omar. Now go figure that out. You know? So anyways... That's the type of household, and that's how he was raised. He was raised, he could do whatever he wanted. I used to like to go to my tia's because at the same time, there was no rules and regulations. It wasn't like a prison yard. It was like lightweight a prison yard. It was like a one yard. You know, there was like a fancy shit. You were kind of trapped in there just based on the aromas and shit. But at the same time, it wasn't um, functioning up to par, <laughs> I guess. She was in the room, and he was in his room. And combined with the smell of the paisa and her, and fucking what he had going on with this fat chick... Yep, yep, that'll be a wet bag of ruffles, definitely. So anyways, one day, you know, when all that shit happens and I fall off, he fucking calls, he calls me, he's like, hey, primo, I got to get at you. And he's sound, sounding a little different, like a little heartbroken, um, but serious. And there was times that he would call me and he'd be a little bit more serious than others. Guess what, primo? <laughs> I just found something better. I'm going to need you. You got to console me or shit. I need you on your Dr. Phil shit like ASAP. Give me some of that knowledge you can't get in college or whatever that fuck shit you say. Come over here, eh? I need to talk to you and I get over there. What happened? My fat chick, bro, she's pregnant. By you, fool? I hope, right? Samuel? I mean, I hope not. But I don't know. Fucking the word hope is in there somehow, right? All serious. So trip out. He calls me and I already know what it's about. He's going to question me. Because one of my primos from Newark, 
You know, I had called my Theo's pad and my primo answered. He's all super high power too, but like a serious vocal, like still active, like super serious, serious, right? So I called him. He was like, what's up? And I was like, hey, let me talk to your dad. He was like, who's this? Like he didn't know who I was. Like I didn't fucking change his diaper because he's younger than me when we were little, right? I said, hey, fool, don't play with me. Fool, put your dad on. You know, I need to talk to my Theo. It's my mom's brother, right? And he was like, hey, fool, I don't allow Dio's to call my pad. I said, is that right? What happened in Pleasant Valley like back in fucking when it was a bad yard? I got cleared. Yeah, I know. Well, I did it. So fucking put your dad on the line. And he hung up on me. So I already knew it was. And immediately he called Super Norteño. I don't know what he expected to go there, right? I don't know. I grabbed that motherfucker by his Mongolian on tongue pulling and I don't know. I fucking swing. I'm not playing about mines, right? But at the same time, I love him. But, you know, hated and love it. The underdogs on top. And I'm going to shine, homeboy, until his heart stops. You know, I got to do what I got to do. I'm on my game shit minus the butterfly. No diddy. So anyways, um, he calls me and I, I pull up. And I pull up and I ain't even gonna lie, I knock on the door, that motherfucker opens it quick. And what song do I hear in the background? You know, I can kill her if you want me to. Right? That motherfucker's bumping his speedy loke and I'm like, oh shit. Now, there was different tones in that house. When he was off his woody, he was all happy as shit. Oh man, you know, it's a matter of time. That about to be, he, think, he, think, he looked like woody too, he thought he was woody and shit. And then when he's off his Sardino, he's all veterano with his pants pulled up to here. I'm like, hey, that's the way the Southsiders wear. He'll just immediately pull him down. Do they wear him like that? Hey, watch out, bro. Your little ass chorra sticking out. Serio? Right? And then when he's serious, he's on his speedy low. Hey, he'll sit there drinking a 40. Rest in peace, speedy low. He'll keep saying that over. Rest in peace, speedy. I see. act like he knew the vato. So I felt like I did. I'm connected, eh? Well, God. Right? Okay, whatever. So I knock on the door. Poof. He opens that motherfucker like the Matrix, right? And he looks at me up and down and he goes, Norte. All in slow motion. I said, yeah, what do you guys got to eat, right? So I walk in. He's like, wait up, wait up, Holmes. Did I invite you in? You're not functioning anymore, Holmes. This is a functioning house. Get the fuck out of my way. Theo, what's up, Miko? He's mad at you. I don't give a fuck if he's mad at me, sad at me, glad at me. He better fucking back the fuck up before he gets smacked the fuck up. See, this is how we do it on our side. The north side. No, no. Well, this is how we do it on our side, right? Um, any of you motherfuckers in this household want to bring it. Even that paisa that's in the corner pissing in the corner. What the fuck is he doing in your pad? Roaches, piss, fucking uh, crawdads. Uh, what do you guys call them? Cocks or roosters? They got shit going on there, right? It's just too much wildlife. It's like the wildlife refugee. Um, and like I said, dead, dead coyotes on the side. Hey, the one house just there. And a couple shacks where Paisas used to live, but they said, fuck this. It stinks over there at the house. And they jammed. So anyways, I go, what do you got to eat, tia? And she's like, there's some frijoles and stuff, tortillas. I immediately get the comal warmed up. I'm starting to make burritos and shit. Like, fuck it. And I ain't going to lie. I'm trying to procrastinate the conversation. Do you understand? I know what's coming. So that fool's me mugging me the whole time. He walks in all slow. And I said, what are you doing? I'm keeping my awareness up. Stop it. Hey, fool, you got it on you? Right? Of course. And I was like, nah, I ain't got, got what on me, bro? You know, you know, you know. Don't act like you don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're a homie. I mean, you used to be a homie. Right now, he's throwing out little jabs, right? Subliminals and shit. Hey, he tells his old lady, hey, Sheila. She's like, see, right? He's like, it's program shutdown time. Hey, put on that one jam I like. Okay, I got you, right? Next thing you know, I hear a fucking uh, a, a, talk, a Tokstero song. And I'm, right? I'm like, oh, fuck. Here we go, man. Um, and it's evening time. And he goes, hey, primo, I need to get at you. Let's take a ride. And I'm on my gangster shit, too. Just because I'm no longer active doesn't mean my figures can't get active. Doesn't mean there's never no way in hell my fucking cousin with his high ass socks, his long ass dickies that look like Capri pants. His ankle fucking red Chuck Taylors that are all scraped up. The star ain't even on him anymore, but he keeps painting it over just because it's a star and he's from up north, right? None of that means nothing to me. If we're going to take a ride, homie, we're going to take a ride and I'm prepared for whatever. So he's like, as soon as we walk out, he's like, can I drive? Nah, bro, I'm not active, right? Yeah, bro, but I don't know the way deals drive because you walk to my, we're active. We drive different. You know what I mean? All right, yeah. Dropouts drive different than active northerners. The Spence on Latina, Right? So I said, come on, fool, where are we going to go? He goes, we're going to go out here just around the corner and shit, bro. We're gonna, we got to talk. So I'm like, is this motherfucker? And I'm looking at his waistband. This fool has his shirt off like he's ready for something. Like he, he, wants, to, he wants to catch that fade. He wants to catch that fade Oligan like motherfucking is Mongolian, right? Now, at this point in time, at this time 
His Mongolian was still on Chongo status, so it was still big. So I'm already thinking, I'm going to grab him, buy his shit, wrap it around his neck, and throw him, right? It, it's going to be bad for him. He's skinny, tall, and, and clumsy, right? I'm telling you, every fight, like I told you that yesterday, that fight, the black dude was like, shut the fuck up, S.A. Don't call me S.A., I'm an N.A., right? He's different. He ain't never won a fight that I ain't never won for him. But he's down to fight, though, right? So anyways, we pull up. He's like, just park right here. I'm like, this is the middle of the street. There ain't shit out here. It's all good. This is my barrio, right? Uh, you're right. Ain't shit out there. When I say ain't shit out there, I thought we were at the fucking four corner stop where the fucking musician sold his soul, right? It just, there's nothing there. I'm expecting fucking, I'm not even worried about getting set up or my cousin bringing people because it would take him a good hour to an hour and a half to even pull up out there and find us. The shit is not even on GPS where they live, right? And they still live in that rinkety dinkety old fucking house to this day. Every time I go, it looks different. I'm like, damn, yeah, you fixed it up. Nah, no, nah, part of the roof fell off. It's good, mijo. Don't worry. Well, hey, when his fucking dad starts sending child support from, and he's already 30 something, when he starts sending child support from Folsom, and then, then we'll get the roof fixed. Maybe the floor. Maybe the floor. Yeah, like, yeah, you should because Suske, I just dropped beans and they went straight to like a fucking pipe and it just went pss, and they sizzled. I know. Maybe that's the smell, mijo. Maybe that's the smell. So, and we'll tell her stories later. So, anyways, we out there, we're parked, and he's like, hey, whopping, right? I said, what do you mean, what happened? Hey, fool, you, you, you disgust me. And I said, hey, bro, don't, 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 don't use that word. You know, and he's like, well, tell me what happened, because I talked to fucking Tino, and he told me, I was like, exactly. They, oh, a high-powered ass Tino. He's like, wait, 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 don't talk bad about the camaradas, don't talk bad about the homies. You know what I'm saying? You're not in a position anymore to, you don't shot call us anymore. Or do you? How is it on the other side, right? I'm like, what do you mean how is it? Hey, this fool with like, inquiring minds want to know. Like, hey, is it cool being a dropout? Like, do you, do you guys like, did you feel like your soul left your body and you just changed this shit all of a sudden? I'm like, listen, Grims, it ain't nothing to it, man. This is why. So I run him down the whole situation about the drugs on the yard and how I felt and what, how I was pushing the hard line and whatever, you know. Um, they had to kill two birds with one stone. Well, yeah, and it was me. Um... And I, how I chose to make the, the, you know, the conscious choice to get off and do what I had to do. Stand on my shield. It's just, it just is, it's part of life, man. Do I regret it? No, not at this point in my life. Did I at that point when I was talking to him? Absolutely. I was having second thoughts. I was ready to buy back in. That motherfucker didn't have money, money to lend me. He told me, he said, we can rob a bank and buy you back in, bring. Serio, man. Like that's, that's priority right there. I said, what about the roof and the fucking flooring? My mom, my mama can wait. Shit ain't that serious, eh? She used to have one of those fucking paisas come in there and fix that shit. That motherfucker, hey, you know how many holes she has in her walls? Yeah, right there by her bed. And shit. I don't even know how the, every time I go, there's cracks and shit. I don't know what's happening there. Oh, I can tell you what's happening. I don't even want to know, all right? Exactly. And plus, my, my old lady, her fucking, her beanie and the shit she wears right here, it's start, it starting to grow back, eh? I don't know. I, I need money, right? So anyways, we're sitting there, and, and he's all heartbroken. And he was like, well, you know what this means, primo? And I said, well, he said, I can't fuck with you no more, right? This was way before the Modesto incident and all this, right? And I was like, oh, so it's like that. I thought it was blood before. I ain't no blood. Nah, fool, this ain't the game song. One blood. Nah, this is Norte, fool. We're dead. Just because we wear the color red, their shit is magenta or something. I don't know, homes. We're flamed up till we're tamed up, and I'm never going to be tamed. I'll never drop out. And he was like, how dare you? He's looking at me, and I'm like, look. That's what you wanted to talk to me about? I understand, but that's the situation. If you don't want to hang out no more and kick it, I don't like the way it smells over here anyway. So it's, it's I'm not losing nothing. I'm not going to lose no sleep over it, but I love you. And if you ever need me, I got you. And he goes, oh, it ain't that simple, homes. See, me and the homies need a fade. What homies? <laughs> right? Ah, oh, ah, oh, in the background. He's like, no, no, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to deal with your shit with your water and you're going to have to deal with mines. And I said, but bro, you're the only one from your barrio. You're, there is no barrio. There's your address. That's it. You claim your address. He's like, well, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to stand on my address then. Let's catch that. What I proceeded to do within the next three to four minutes will boggle your mind. By the time we were done, he had, it looked like I choked him with a rope right here, right? His mom said, Mijo, what happened? Put some vaseline in the BI and take, a, and take a, 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 a Viagra. A Viagra, I mean a Tylenol, right? I grabbed him by his fucking Mongolian and wrapped it and was choking the shit out of him. And I was like, fool, I don't want to do this, fool. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I thought that was fucking Norte. And I choked him out a little bit. And then he cried. And then we cried together. And I felt bad. Um, and he said, man, I would never do that. 
And then about a month passes, right? He catches a violation. They shoot him to a yard that is no good, right? And he stays there longer than he should. So he was supposed to be there 72 hours, three days. You got to get off. He stood there till I think it was the fourth day. His excuse was, well, the, when I first got there, they put me in the hole for one day, then boom. So that counts. And you don't understand the way that the fucking, the metric system works. And okay, whatever. I, I don't believe none of that shit. You went over there and kicked it and then finally chose to get off when you seen a fucking homeboy that you could finally beat up. He was like, yeah, that fool caught me good. What happened was this. He gets to the fucking yard. Um, I guess he's chilling. It's, it's a dropout yard, right? He's not supposed to be there. 50-50 yard. He spends his time. He fit, gets a target, the smallest, damn near a midget on the yard and takes flight, right? And, and it is what it is. Like I said, my primo's down. He's a nut. He'll do some crazy shit. But he just doesn't win, right? He's not a winner. He's a boy. He's like that dude Bush from fucking that one movie. You know, what is it? Bronx Tale? He just loses at everything he does in life. You see that Walter right there? Now Walter's a super Nathaniel. But at the same time, now Walter's going to lose. He can't find it. So he's going to get super duper. But all you got to do is put on the Stormtrooper. And the winner is, right? And so I beat him up. About a month later, like I said, a couple months later, he goes to the pin. And what happens is he goes out to the group yard, man, and they try to whack him, right? They, they jump him. They, he's done. Hey, this fucking letter he sent to my pad, I couldn't even read. There were so many tears. Tears on my pillow. My, 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 my career is over. <laughs> Your career is over. I love that even from a real audio. <laughs> and fucking, Bruno Gustin, right? Davalto ends, they, he ends up clearing it up. He goes back on another violation, clears it up, runs into a good NF member, um, speaks his mind, gets his due diligence, and goes back in the fold, right? How he did that, I'll never know. If he even did that. That was his story. I'll let him tell it, right? But to this day, my primo is still on his high fee, high power Norteño shit, right? And we started to hang around. He was like, hey, bro, just don't tell anyone. You know, don't tell anyone what you're, and you're in bad standings because I don't want it to reflect off me. I was like, bro, don't tell anyone you haven't showered today or used deodorant for the last two weeks, motherfucker. Yeah, but for the torta still like me. Yeah, who you think I got the word torta from? From him. Where he found it and what Orly's Lowrider magazine in the back, looking up subscriptions that he found it in and told it to me, I just ran with it, made it famous. Anyways, with that being said, if you think that was a fucking story, you guys ain't heard shit yet. I got one more tomorrow, part three. Let me know in the comments if you want me to hit you guys with a part three because that motherfucker is different. Like I said, he's super high power, active. Hey, Valta got out. I was like, hey, bro. He's like, I'm back. I'm back, homie. The super Norteño strikes back, right? I said, what happened? He said, the, homie, the homies accepted me. I said, did you get jumped in your vodka? He said, yeah, I did this. I was like, fuck. Hey, and when I tell you this, I tell it in jest and you're laughing at this point, but it's real. Hey, and my tia will be sitting there just farting, watching the novella, talking about mijo. Mijo, I'm going to watch Reina de Sur. Sur! <laughs> my cousin, be, she'd be like, oh, okay, I can't say that in this house. Reina de Norte. Baloso, right? With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive, the struggle, the struggle, the strive. Every single fucking grunion, every single funion with the O that I tell you in this story is the truth, man. One of these days, if I could convince my primo to wear a mask and fucking blue blocker shade, oh, wait up, red blocker shades on, and all that, and come on here and talk, you guys will be fucking out of your minds like, damn, gun ain't playing. He'll get on here, he'll say, whopping. <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I truly and honestly believe in, and that's the betterment of all people. If you guys want me to hit you with part three, let me know in the comments, man. Let's get it to wiggling. Gracias.